So I ended up a little frustrated last year from trying to spread turnip seeds. I have a Earthway bag spreader, and that works great for soybeans and peas and oats and even radishes. Uh, you can kind of see and feel how the seeds are coming out of that when you're walking along there. But the turnips and kale and some of those other brassica seeds are so small, it's almost impossible to try and do that by feel. You can't really see what's going on with the seeds coming out in front of you and the with the bag, you can't see into it sometimes, or you can't really tell how, you know, how they're being used up out of there when you're walking around. So I ended up using a Wiz uh, spreader, it's called by Scott's, which is kind of nice because you can make the door pretty small and, and uh, be a little bit more cautious about how you're using the seed in there. But the problem I found with that is I ended up putting the, I had purple top turnips and I ended up putting them way too thick and they outcompeted each other and just didn't do very well last year. So again, I was kind of frustrated. And if you're going to do a half acre plot or bigger, it seems like it takes forever because with that handheld whiz spreader, you can only cover maybe a 10 foot spreading area. Well then kind of on a whim, I ended up, I ended up seeing the extreme blower here on the internet somewhere. I don't know if it was a YouTube video or whatever. And I thought, yeah, I'm going to order that for next year. Well, it came a week or so later, and when I got it, I was kind of upset with myself because I thought, ah, I fell for a gimmick. Well, I'll, I'll just put it on the shelf by my food plot stuff and give it a try next, you know, next late summer when I spread the, the turnip seeds and whatever I'm going to spread out again for small seeds. So when it comes, here's what you get. You don't end up with the drill. That's mine. It comes in a box. It's about a foot tall, 10 inches wide, 6 inches deep. I don't know, like that. Decent size little box. Uh, the drill's kind of for reference. And you get some instructions here. You get a couple of straps. They actually come inside the tube. You get the tube. It mounts on top of your leaf blower. And there's a little funnel cone that's kind of nice for filling with seed. But anyway, it's pretty light. I don't know, it weighs maybe a pound. And you basically just need a drill with a one inch uh, hole saw bit on the end of it to install it. And that's it. Here's what the uh, the sheet, the, the bottom of the instruction sheet shows, Extreme Blower Products. It's either made or at least shipped out of Ohio. So, and they've got a website too, but I'm <laughs> not sure why you need to contact them. There's really not a whole lot that can go wrong here. One of the things that, you, that I really found out that I like about it, trying to do this one-handed, should have set up my tripod, is you have this door. This is your, this is your set, settings door for opening, you know, and closing it for seed. And as you pull it out, it's got clicks on it. I did one, there's two. And so you can open that door from as small as like, I think probably an eighth inch. Right there is about an eighth inch. Two clicks is gonna get you about a quarter. Three clicks, whoop, that's four clicks. That's all the way. And that the hole probably is three quarters of an inch across when it's wide open, but anyway, I found out that uh, the the uh, radish seeds, which are a little bigger than the turnip seeds, I had three clicks, so that was that was about that was halfway open, and that's probably about three eighths of an inch. I filled that bottle up with those radish seeds, and I ended up doing it was about an acre and a half with three of these bottles, and I'm guessing you get about two pounds in that bottle of radish seed, or any, I guess either seed, they're out there way about the same. And I found with, uh, with, those, with those radishes that that three click setting was worked out perfectly. I, I didn't go through it too fast, um, but I didn't go through it too slow either. You don't want to overseed brassicas by any means, and that was one of the problems I think that most people probably tend to have. And in this case, uh, it worked really great with the radishes. I use that in, instead of the Earthway. I use it for the radishes and the, the purple top turnips. So when I did the turnips and the kale, those seeds are about the same size. I ended up using two clicks. And that brings you at about a quarter inch or so. And I tried it with one click uh, first and covered a lot of area and didn't really seem to get much seed used up out of there. So I ended up opening up another click and found out too that that worked out really well. And for me, uh, I filled up this bottle once with uh, my kale and uh, purple top turnip seeds. And that's all I wanted in the area that I, and I think I did three quarters of an acre with that. So worked out perfect for me. I, I guess we'll find out when I do a 
video of how things are coming up in my plot here, but I felt like I got the right amount of seed used that I wanted to use on the area that I was using it. So this is really slick, the uh, the door thing. You want, and once you you start your leaf blower, you get your leaf blower running, and then you reach over, and when you're ready to start have the seeds start coming out, you click your door open and you go. And then when you're you're done, if you shut your leaf blower off, the seed's still going to trickle out of there. So you just close this, you push that in first, and then you shut your leaf blower off, and whatever seed's left in the bottle stays. And then you just take this, the cap, just it's just a rubber cap, comes off, and you can dump it back in, and you know do whatever you put your seed back wherever you want to use it for next time. Now, when you're shooting seeds out of this thing, you, you can point it up at the sky and you can kind of see the radish seeds. The turnip seeds were kind of hard to see because they're so small. So I went over and stood by a, a pond and about, I was about 30 feet away with the radish seeds, the bit, little bit bigger. Um, they were, they were shooting about 30 feet out. And so if you're walking along and you're, and you're winging your leaf blower back and forth, you should be able to cover 50 or a 50 or 60 foot wide swath which is a pretty pretty good amount of coverage in one pass. The uh, turnip and kale seeds being a little smaller, they shot 20, maybe 25 feet out of there. So your, you know, the the path that you spread those on is going to be a little bit narrower. I I swung that back and forth as I went to and was assuming that I got, you know, 40 feet, maybe 50 feet of um width coverage, kind of just kind of assume for 40. So um, they go out uh, quite a ways, uh, but depending on the size of the seed, it's going to be a little bit different on how far they shoot out in front of you. So again, radish seeds were about 30 feet and the turnip and kale seeds were smaller. So they went probably 20, maybe 25 feet. So I ended up seeding into one and a half acres of what was formerly pasture. I sprayed it mid May, sprayed it again, mid July. And then at the end of July, we did uh, two passes with the disc. That's my dad on his trusty John Deere 2510 there. After that, then I went and applied my seed with the blower and uh, bottle combination here. Followed up with some nitrogen fertilizer. And then once that was done, I rolled the whole thing twice with my five foot uh, DIY homemade Cultipacker roller. This is about three weeks later. It's a side with just the radishes. I ended up at, uh, broadcasting winter wheat into this. And this here is what it looked like about three weeks later, around the first week of September. I'd gotten rain at the right times and it was looking really lush and green. And then by the end of September, the deer had found it and they were hitting it hard. In fact, one evening uh, in late September, I had 15 different bucks in this one food plot one evening. It was one of the best hunts I've ever had. Thanks for watching and good luck with your food plotting.